सो हाई एवरी वन दिस इज सागर मंत्री एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट अ डाइटिंग मेथड दैट अलाउज यू टू कंट्रोल योर ब्लड शुगर एंड ब्लड शुगर सेंसिटिविटी दैट मीन्स यू लैव फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डायबिटीज ना आई रिकमेंड दैट यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टू टू थ्री टाइम्स सो यू नो यू कैन रिव्यू दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन अगेन एंड अगेन ऑल्सो फील यू टू ड्रॉप एनी क्वेश्चन एंड सजेशन यू हैव इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द वीडियो एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल लेट्स start into today's topic intermittent fasting for diabetes so if you have been reading and researching about weight loss and diabetes it is very likely that you have been introduced to a concept of intermittent fasting that's right i know it's a new fad and as for me i work as a weight loss consultant and a health consultant i have many clients who consult with me about controlling their diabetes losing weight etc etc and they hear about this concept so i thought i would make a video on this And this video is a product of all the research that I have done. Personally, my clients have experienced this. I have experienced this, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. Now, another benefit promised by intermittent fasting is that the person undergoing fasting can lose weight without the risk of putting back on. That is one of the best thing about it. Now, one of the reason my clients trust and keep returning to me is because my programs provide permanent weight loss. Once you lose weight, it's never coming back. That's all. I am going to run you through the complete benefits of intermittent fasting. Now, first and the most important one is it drops blood sugar. That's not all. I am going to run you through the ben- complete benefits of intermittent fasting, so you know what you are getting into. It drops the blood insulin levels to help your body lose fat. Less insulin in your body, less fat you will store. <laughs> the second best benefit of this is it increases the quantity of growth hormone by five times. which allows your body to burn fat and promote muscle gain now intermittent fasting increases your metabolism by 3 to 15 14% which is a lot where you can burn 150 calories extra every day it helps you eat less and burn more fats reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes reduce stress in the body and seventh one is reduces the risk factors of heart disease now let some for some people you know first time listening to my video and don't know what is intermittent fasting let me clarify that also the concept of intermittent fasting is not particularly new or innovative in fact it is quite an old technique it means going without food or drinks for extended period of time <laughs> not everyone can fast for 7 7 days so instead on focusing on what you eat intermittent fasting works on when you eat so you will be skipping meals on purpose that's right <laughs> you will be hungry now you will be thinking but sagar dietitian tell me that being hungry will spoil my metabolism <laughs> right wrong do check out my metabolism video for that it will be linked somewhere above and you will how your metabolism works and how can you use it to burn more fat so in fact being low on calorie on a low calorie diet is more harmful but fasting is not fasting is actually beneficial so my advice to people wanting to try fasting for the first time is to avoid eating anything after dinner and then skip breakfast in the morning and only breaking fast at noon to have lunch that's right no breakfast <laughs> so if it sound tedious or technical or difficult it's not in fact this is the easiest method to follow for dieting flexibility is the strong benefit of intermittent fasting now there are various methods of doing it you simply need to restrict the intake of food during fasting period simple That's right. Don't eat anything. No fruits. No diet food. Nothing. No, you can't drink chai and coffee. Only water and green. That's right. Chai is not allowed during the fasting period. Now, some diets do allow. In fact, recommend you to drink coffee because they suppress hunger. But I'm against black coffee since uh, you don't want to put more acid in your body when the aim is to clean it. And fasting helps in cleaning the body at a very rapid pace. So, when and how do you start intermittent fasting? This is the topic. This is the part you have been waiting for. Okay. Now I share with you two methods that I have personally tested. So the first method, it involves 16 slash 8 method. Involves fasting every day for 16 hours and restricting your daily eating video to 8 hours. That will be doing this method of fasting can actually be as simple as not eating anything after dinner and skipping breakfast. You don't have to keep anything in mind. Now I'll do give you a diet in the later part of this video. So do watch this video till the end. and now the second point the second type the way you can follow this intermittent fasting is 12 hours 12 hours for people who are you know not so tolerant with their hunger 
you can just not eat food for 12 hours and then start eating after 12 hours and that that could be a good start okay let's start with the recommended food for feasting time that is your eating time okay so foods when you break your fast foods for when you break your fast so what to eat when you break your fast first thing would be fruits and green juice best ways to break your fast and smoothly transition would be to break your fast with green juice and alkaline fruits such as watermelon banana say you heard me <laughs> banana musk melon and all type of watery foods they go easy on your digestive system uh, foods for snacks green tea sprout salad hummus hummus carrot and cucumber is one of my favorite snacks what would you eat for dinner you know a big bowl of salad with at least 6 to 7 types of different vegetables and instead of roti try eating a chilla i have made a video on how to make chilla with different ingredients it is without wheat so do check out the video and eat a a uh, sabji made of beans that is rajma choli chickpeas moong which are rich in protein and all other different types of micronutrients and very good for your digestive system okay so let's dive into tips for intermittent fasting which you can do and which will help you okay so i don't want you to dive directly into it start with 12 hours per day if you have not done this before just skip your breakfast and every day just add 30 minutes to your fast and soon you will be tolerant to the fast it is best that you eat your last meal 2 to 3 hours before bedtime so you'll spend less hours awake while you fast otherwise you know you can't sleep when you are hungry it will it will be a problem for first week or two and eat during your 8 hours 8 uh, hours eating window water and green tea will help you kill your hunger and cravings while fasting but always ensure to avoid adding extra sugar and beverages and drinks or milk or even cream since these contain a ton of calories and these will break your fast not drink all the water you want because this will <laughs> be a life saver during your 16 hour fasting period to help your hunger and there will be a lot of hunger believe me <laughs> okay drink warm water during this period it will help you suppress your hunger some people do drink coffee and green tea during the fasting period as it is zero or very low calorie but you should really know but you should you know okay you are okay with green tea try avoiding coffee since it is very toxic and as usual the normal jargon avoid junk food processed food during this period don't drink don't eat anything packed during this period since they will be very hard on your system and fasting is like giving your system a rest and only in rest will your body really recover okay so so similar to all the other diets you have tried easy to start this diet but it is difficult to complete it so if you really want results and long lasting results this i would say go on a minimum four week plan on intermittent fasting now i've also written a blog on this where you know you will have all the diet in the written form you need to go and check down the link below so if you want uh, if you want the written copy of this plan you can go on the link below on my website and ch- check the whole plan but this this was the overview of the plan and fasting can be very beneficial but i have seen many diseases being cured and even reversed through intermittent fasting diabetes is one of them since your body will be fasting your insulin sensitivity will go down that means you whenever you eat food your body won't release mass uh, mass or less amount of insulin to you know to absorb the food and during the fasting period this growth hormone will be in your body you know you will lose fat you will not lose muscle mass and as i told you earlier in this video eating a low calorie diet is more harmful than just fasting because in fasting your body releases growth hormone and in low calorie diet your body decreases the amount of testosterone in your body decreases the amount of growth hormone in your body so instead of going on a low calorie diet fasting would be a better option so It, I don't want to make it a very big video since, since I don't want to confuse you more so I will end this video if you have any questions just put them down below you can take the plan from the website on my website so yes let I am ending this video signing off sagar mantri